What's up, dude? What's How going on, bro? How you doing tonight, man? One single second. Yo, where's the cheap out like this? What's up, what you been up to, man? How you been? Chilling, kicking it, grabbing some dinner with the girls. I, Ty, go to the right. I see rice is back in town, man. How you feeling about that? Rice or rice? No, ri rice gum. Oh yeah, we're we're living together. We're You're living together. together. Yeah. Is yeah. he gonna start doing more YouTube videos and stuff? I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys keep up with Twitch, but he's fucking crushing it on yeah, Twitch. On Twitch, he's killing it. He's crushing. That's what a lot of people were saying. Just, Aiden Ross just moved in, so him and Aiden are kind of doing that Twitch thing. Aiden's fucking, honestly, the king of Twitch right now. Wow. Uh, Mike Malax moving in, Summer Rays, we're getting part of the crew back together. It's okay, so. okay. What what happened? Do you know what's going on with Mike and the um and the Impulsive podcast? Like is Logan gonna quit doing it? No, or? so from what I understand they stacked a bunch of episodes before uh -huh. Logan left to go train. Okay. And they're just business as usual. The podcast is great and they're just gonna Logan will come back periodically and they'll stack episodes. Nice. What's going on with you and Keemstar? Are you guys working on anything right now? Yeah, we're, we just recorded a Mom's Basement episode today with Nick uh, Diorio about uh, Deaf Noodles and James Charles and all that shit. What are your thoughts on some of that stuff? I think that um, as far as de that Deaf Noodles kid goes, he's, yeah. he's been making some crazy allegations that are turning out to not really be true. And Right. It's just the, the world we live in, it's kind of fucked up, but when you're talking about crazy shit like sexual assault, things like that, like, right. you so probably you, have your facts straight. So how do you, how do, you what's your reaction to what he said about Austin having another kid? And then Austin- Is that what Def Noodle said? Yeah, he's- I honestly don't really keep up with it. I oh yeah, he, cla he claims that Austin had Austin another- Austin McBroom? No, yeah, Austin McBroom had another kid that was in a, like a, um, like it's some nursery or something that he was registered father of it. And then Austin came out and was like, this is not true at all. Yeah, I don't know, again. I mean, he yeah. has a fucking wife and kids. Like, you should, I don't know. Right. I don't know anything about that. Right. But. How do you feel about the whole David Dobrik situation? Are, are you friends with David? Yeah, I'm good friends with David. I like David a lot. Um, I think my personal opinion on that whole thing is that kid Dom really fucked up. He, right. I do believe that he did some really scummy, weird shit. Got you. All said and done. But David, I feel like David, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we're all YouTubers and it's, David's a young kid. Right. I don't think he had the right people in place, the right check. You know what I mean? You think David can make a comeback? I do think that he can, yeah. I think that he made an honest mistake. I think he was careless and fucking really stupid. Right. In the way that he handled his content and the way that the, the people that he surrounded himself with. Um, but at the end of the day, from my understanding at least today, right. uh, he's never sexually assaulted anybody directly. Okay. I think that he, again, he was just a little bit careless. Probably just cared a little bit too much about his YouTube videos and just getting his YouTube videos done too much so to give a fuck about really what was going on around him. Right. At the end of the day, we're in Hollywood. There's fucking, you know what I mean? Kids running around drinking, having fun, and right. have you weird seen shit happens. Have you seen him recently? Um, no, not super recently. Not, not, okay, he doesn't really come out that much. No, nah, David's not really a, a, one of those. Like a club guy no, going no, out to a lot really of flashy restaurants. You don't see David going to dinners, you don't see David going out really, right. and if he does, he's got his camera with him. He's, he's all about his he's working. YouTube Will, will that's we why, see, uh, uh, or go ahead. I, I was going to say that's why I know for a fact that he just, in those moments, all David Dobrik's thinking about is making his, his YouTube right. videos. And that's why he's as big as he is, you know what I mean? Because he. He's really about it like that. Right, right, right. Will we see a return from James Charles? Because he's been kind of quiet lately. I don't know. I, I mean, believe it or not, I don't really follow James Charles. You're not a super, big makeup super guru? Heavy, <laughs> super, super heavy. It's a shocking information. I try to stay away from the drama stuff. Uh -huh. I know I do a podcast with Keemstar that's kind of like as deep as I go with that shit. Right. He kind of keeps me updated on all that shit. I really don't know, man. I don't, you know. don't know. I just wish everybody the best. I hope that anybody that's been fucked with, I hope they get the help that they need and there you go. They get justice is served. You know what I mean? who, it's are all we, really who are we going to see you box on the YouTube? Uh, yeah. Nobody. I'm 30 years old, <laughs> almost, and I'm building a fucking multi billion dollar company. Wow. I hit the jewel all day and I go get dinners and get drunk with my friends and my girlfriend. And that's my lifestyle, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to step away from all of that to go train to box. There you go. You know who we need, man? Where's my boy Rug at? I actually was just, I was just with Rug. We just did a uh, Sports Illustrated shoot. 
Really? Yeah, I don't know if that's a public thing. But we oh, just what did. is now? We're just, yeah, we're I can never now. find him. See, so you guys like, fucking just never, like. <laughs> he lives in San Diego. He just sold his house. He's getting a new one. Right. I'm going to head inside now, though, guys. Said, what's up, man? We missed Rob. We need yeah, more like, faith. Get him and bring him out. Who are you going for? Bryce Hall or uh, Austin McGill when the fight coming up? I, I like them both. I don't know. I think I'm indifferent. I think Bryce is kind of an animal. He's a little bit younger. You know what I mean? I don't know. What? What did you think about, uh, my, did you talk to Mike about Lana Rhodes, you know, she was making out with, with I, I believe it's, it's Kay Faze or someone? No, no, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who was it? Uh, what's her name? Alexa. Alexa, Alexa Adams, yeah. she's a really good friend of mine. They're just goofing around, bro. We're all friends oh, at the end of the day. All right. I mean, Lana, Lana's, Lana's Lana, and they're just having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Frazier's <laughs> ex-girlfriend. That's funny. What do you think about Bad Baby making a million dollars a whole time? Get your fucking bag, girl. Honestly, like, I think it's a little creepy how many yeah. people went and bought that shit. <laughs> That's fucking weird to me, but Got you. at the end of the day, she's, you know what I mean? She knows what she's doing. Yeah. Catch your bag, girl. Hustle that fucking, hustle yeah. that bag. Would you ever start only fans or that's not? No, like I said again, I'm trying to build a billion dollar company. It's, just, it's not in the cards for me. There you go, Love man. you guys. All right, we love you, Banks, man. Have a good one.